Welcome to this Unity package in which you will be able to pick and drop objects as I'm doing now. So whenever you click on an object, you are able to move it into the final position. That it's uh, the same mesh uh, render, okay, but uh, that has been moved and placed into the destination point, okay. So you have here also on the console the different actions that are being performed. For, for example, it says I have picked the object name. Uh, let me put it here. You will see it better. I have picked the logo, and then it says the game object is particle. So let's change the render, the shader. Sorry. And then says I have picked the logo clone, etc. Okay. I have left. So in fact, whenever I pick something, okay, in the in the in the game here, it will, it will appear. For example, I have picked Y, and then when I get close to the Y destination or return position, it will say, I have left the Y clone. Okay. So um, let's see what happens in the hierarchy whenever I pick something. When I pick an object. You can see how a logo clone is created. So in fact, what we are doing is creating a game object that is going to have a similar uh, structure as the original one, but it's going to be in the final position. And where are the final positions um, selected? The final positions are inside the Unity Text Final. So you can see we have the logo, the U, the N, the I, the T, and the Y. So for example, the I, it's set to this point here. So whenever I click on the I, you can see how here, okay, the game object is instantiated and created. Okay, so you can see how we can build things easily by uh, clicking, moving, and then dropping into the objective. So let's check a little bit the code, how it works. The Unity Text Pickable has the pick object code. That it's here. So let's open this for a second. We have the object name and then the return name. So the object name is just a way of checking with which object can be pickable or not. So if you go to Unity Text Pickable, you will see that the logo, the U, the N, the I, the T, and the Y are all pickable. Okay, but for example, the Unity Text pickable object is not, or the plane is not. So, what we are doing in the script, first of all, it's um, in the fixed update. As you can see, what we're doing is getting the mouse position, and then we are saying if we have an object that is picked, we're going to put the position accordingly to the mouse position with a LERP movement, okay? Then, uh, whenever we click, this function will be called, okay? So we, we need an event trigger that's going to be clicked. And in fact, what, what we're doing is just uh, setting the gravity to false in order to move the object, the, the object, the rigid body, without any problem. Then we set also the collider to false in, or, in order to prevent collision with our things. And then uh, what we're doing is checking uh, if the P PKI object, okay, and that you can see here, it's going to be returned in place or in a different place. So this is important to notice. Um, each of the game objects that are pickable have the PK object that says position return or in place. So let's check what happens for the logo if I say in place. So if I hit play, you will see that in fact, uh, by doing this, I'm going to move my object, but instead of creating the return position uh, here as it was before, it creates the return position at the same point. This means um, in place. If I say this is false, you will see how the object is created as as I selected it into the 
the position return okay there's going to be this position logo okay and you can see here so this is how it works the the pick and drop using the pk objects okay so uh, once that is done then we this is this is what i have shown you just a few moment, moment ago and then what we're doing is uh, we have to change all the parameters uh, in order to create the new instance the new instance is the term return object that is going to be the white thing that appears in order to make us notice where we have to move the, the, the objects okay so we change that and then here we manage the fact that if the shader is particle multiply we're going to change it for additive so we can change the color from black to white in this case Okay, notice that the uh, that the logo, okay, it's a multi, it has it's it's um, a cube, which um, first face here, it's it's uh, a shader multiply that uses a texture of the Unity logo that is here. Okay, so in fact we change that that has also a white line. As you can see here, around, we change it from um, we change it the material. It's here. We change the material from okay from multiply to additive. So you can see what that's what the script is is doing. Okay, changing that from that. So I think this is pretty much it. Um, then we, if if the game object has more childs, we change all the childs also for the return material. And um, okay, in the case we want to return something, let's say we have picked an object and we're going to move it and return it. Okay, then the thing is that we are inside the new game object that we have instantiated. And in this case, has a tag that is called return name, that that is also set by us at the beginning. This position return. So those tags, please verify them that they are here. We we have the pickable and the position return. Okay, these are the tags you have to add into your game in order to make it work properly. So. Um, when getting to that point here, what we're going to do just is saying, okay, we're going to leave our object there with the position and, and the rotation of the return uh, object, okay, as you can see here. And then we're going to destroy the temp return object, which means that we only have, we're going to left to leave only the, the original object, but in the same position of the return object. So this is all regarding the script. So if you have any questions, please uh, write us to michael.point.solar.vady at gmail.com. We'll be able, uh, we'll be glad to answer to your questions. And uh, we, we have always tried to make this, these tutorial videos to complement the documentation to help you understand how things work. So thanks for watching.